Welcome back to You Tried It TV. We appreciate all the love and support so far. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Three suspects allegedly responsible for a mass shooting at El Mila Banquet Hall in May now faces charges including over 20 counts of first-degree murder and attempted first-degree murder. And he will be held on no bond. Werneric Buckner, 20, was booked into jail on Wednesday. On Thursday, he faced a Miami-Dade County judge. He faces three counts of first-degree murder, as well as over 20 counts of attempted first-degree murder with a deadly weapon. He also faces another charge, where he was given a bond of $10,000. The cases stem from a deadly shooting over Memorial Day weekend earlier this year, outside of the El Mula Banquet Hall in Northwest Miami-Dade. Surveillance video shows a crowd waiting to get inside of a rap concert as gunmen unleashed a hell of bullets. 32-year-old Shaniqua Peterson died from her injuries, along with 26-year-old Desmond Owens and Clayton Dillard III, who was also 26. These are serious charges, and I believe the state may be seeking the death penalty on this. Butler was picked up yesterday by police, and detectives say by his own admissions, he was armed with a large assault rifle and is the man seen on video emerging from the front passenger side of the getaway vehicle on the night of the mass shooting. An arrest report says he told cops he fired into the crowd but could not recall how many shots. Last month, police arrested 22-year-old Devante Barnes for allegedly acting as a lookout for the three shooters. He too confessed, say cops, in a targeted shooting that left many innocent bystanders caught in the middle. I believe you are a great danger to this community and I'm holding you no bonds. And all of those shots, according to Miami-Dade police, were targeting one specific individual who was here that night but was not among the people killed. In the meantime, we know that Buckner has a criminal history that includes Grand Theft Auto, that case dating back from February. But two shooters tied to this incident are still on the run. Miami-Dade police still investigating this case. Reach out to them or Crime Stoppers with any information. Reporting live from Northwest Miami-Dade, I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10. Let's get the discussion popping below in the comment section. How does this make you guys feel? What you think should happen to these people? Please leave your thoughts below and I will see you in the next video.